Hey folks, welcome back to Military Forces Unleashed. Today, we're taking off, literally, into the thrilling world of Turkai's ambitious leap into fifth-generation fighter jets. We're talking about the TAI Khan, a project that's not just about building an aircraft, but about redefining what it means to be a global military power in the 21st century. In this episode, we'll uncover how the Khan blends stealth, speed, and firepower with a dash of geopolitical ambition. Buckle up, it's going to be a wild ride. But here's the kicker. What if I told you that this jet isn't just Turkai's answer to the F-35? It's also a symbol of defiance against global sanctions and export restrictions. Yeah. This isn't just about flying fast, it's about flying free. Let's dive in. The story of the Khan begins not with a bang, but with a series of strategic decisions made by Turkai in the early 2010s. Back then, the country was heavily reliant on foreign suppliers for its defense needs, particularly the United States and Europe. But as geopolitical tensions rose, think F-35 program fallout and sanctions, Turkey realized it couldn't keep betting on others to secure its skies. Enter the Mili Muharip Uçak, MMU, or National Combat Aircraft, a project aimed at creating a homegrown solution to replace its aging fleet of F-16s. Now, developing a fifth-generation fighter jet isn't exactly like building a toy airplane in your garage. It's a Herculean task that requires cutting-edge technology, billions of dollars, and a lot of patience. Turkai didn't just want to build a plane, they wanted to build a statement. A statement that says, we can do this ourselves. And while the road has been bumpy with delays, technical hurdles, and skeptics lining up to call it a pipe dream, the Khan is slowly proving them wrong. So, what exactly is this beast capable of? Picture this. A 21-meter-long twin-engine monster designed to fly at Mach 1.8, with a service ceiling of 55,000 feet and an operational range of 1,100 kilometers. The Khan isn't just fast, it's smart. Equipped with advanced avionics, AI-driven systems, and low observable stealth features, this jet is built to sneak into enemy airspace like a ninja and deliver a knockout punch before anyone even knows it's there. But here's the real kicker. The Khan's internal weapon bays can carry precision-guided bombs, air-to-air -air missiles, and standoff weapons, all while maintaining its stealth profile. Need more firepower? No problem. The jet also has optional external hardpoints for additional munitions, making it as versatile as it is deadly. Oh, and let's not forget those two General Electric F-110 engines, each delivering a whopping 131 kN of thrust with afterburners. This thing doesn't just fly, it roars. Now, let's talk tech. The Khan's stealth capabilities are where things get really interesting. Its airframe is designed with radar-absorbing materials and internal weapon bays to minimize its radar cross-section. In layman's terms, it's like wearing an invisibility cloak in a world where everyone else is shouting, Here I am! But stealth isn't the only trick up its sleeve. The Khan is also expected to integrate advanced ASA radars and electronic warfare systems, giving it an edge in both detecting threats and jamming enemy communications. Imagine an aircraft that can see farther, think faster, and strike harder than anything else in the sky. That's the promise of the Khan. Of course, no system is perfect. Critics point out that Turkai's reliance on foreign components like those GE engines, could still leave the program vulnerable to supply chain disruptions. And let's not sugarcoat it. Developing a fifth-gen fighter from scratch is like trying to build a Ferrari in your backyard. It's ambitious, risky, and frankly, a little insane. But hey, isn't that what makes it exciting? So how does the con stack up in the real world? Well, here's the thing. It hasn't seen combat yet. The first prototype only completed its maiden flight in February 2024, and full operational capability isn't expected until the 2030s. That's a long time to wait, especially in an era where military tech evolves faster than TikTok trends. That said, 
The Khan's potential applications are vast. From air superiority missions to deep strike operations, this jet is designed to be a Swiss army knife of aerial warfare. And let's not forget the international interest. Saudi Arabia reportedly wants to buy around 100 units, which could turn the Kayan into a major export success. But, and this is a big but, there are challenges. Developing a fifth-gen fighter is expensive, and Turkey's defense budget isn't infinite. There's also the question of whether the Khan can truly compete with established players like the F-35 or Russia's Su-57. Skeptics argue that it's more hype than substance, while supporters point to the progress already made as proof of concept. Either way, the jury's still out. At its core, the Khan is more than just a fighter jet. It's a symbol of Turkey's ambition to become a self-reliant military power and a player on the global stage. By reducing its dependence on foreign suppliers, Turkey is positioning itself as a leader in defense innovation, a move that could have far-reaching implications for NATO, the Middle East, and beyond. But let's not kid ourselves. Building a fifth-gen fighter isn't just about technology. It's about strategy, politics, and economics. The Khan represents a bold bet on the future, but it's also a reminder of how complex and costly modern warfare has become. Will it succeed? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, the Khan is a project worth watching. If this deep dive into the Khan got your gears turning, hit that like button and drop a comment below. Do you think the Khan can live up to the hype or is it doomed to fall short? And don't forget to subscribe to Military Forces Unleashed for more content like this. Next time, we'll be exploring another game-changing military marvel. Until then, stay curious, stay informed, and keep unleashing the forces. Thanks for tuning in to Military Forces Unleashed. Your support keeps this channel flying high. Whether you're here for the tech, the tactics, or the sheer spectacle of modern warfare, we're glad to have you along for the ride. See you next time as we explore another chapter in military aviation history.